Welcome to Soul Dare. Kel here. I'm excited to um, reveal what I'm going to be doing for uh, the 100 day project. This project is uh, a daily challenge where you um, make one thing a day. And uh, I was struggling with what to choose to do for this challenge. I was going to do, I have um, some postcards um, with like Pendleton wool um, patterns on them. And I was going to do one postcard a day for um, for the challenge and decorate it. But that just seemed like going to be too hard. And these are just beautiful. And I want to look at them and hold on to them a little bit longer. I don't want to use them for anything yet. So um, maybe through the challenge I'll get them out. But right now I'm just going to enjoy the beauty of them over here. So that said, I was looking around my craft area, my desk area. And I was like, ooh small things and um when i was at the dollar tree the other day i picked up this um this is a pill box right so I remind you for your daily vitamins or whatever so this is going to be my daily inspiration mini challenge and i'm going to fill this up with things that will fit in here and then each day whatever's in that little space right there like for today for monday after i fill this up i'm going to fill it together with you guys online um, then on camera, I mean, and online. <laughs> All right. So anyway, then whatever's in that little box, I will use to, this is going to be my substrate, little mini tags. So that will be fun to challenge myself to do some really cool mini art. So let's just hang out together. And a friend of mine recently gave me a little mini, uh, clipboard too. So that'll be come in handy. So I'm just going to sit here now and kind of just fill up the um, these little boxes for this week. And then um, each week um, I'll do a video and show you how it's going and I will fill it again. So this is great for lots of tiny little things. So I have lots of little treasures right here. Now some things aren't going to fit, right? Well, that fits, so that might work. But, you know, you choose what, I'm going to choose what I like and what I enjoy. I'm not, I'm not going to just force myself to put things in there, even if they fit. I'm going to kind of curate and go through. I like this lace. And I'm going to give myself permission to repeat because that way there'll be some cohesiveness to the project. Um, I have these vintage corners. And I'm going to use these things as the main inspiration prompt, but then I'm going to give myself permission to use any other kind of media that inspires me, watercolors, um, and um, ink pads, these little um, stamps I'm going to put in there, my little gears. Um, I like this little, I like this little flower. Put that there. And I'm sure you, you know, I'm not even. I'm just kind of starting out here. Here's a cute little, cute little rose. I'm just looking in here. Here's some charms. Here's a little piece of ribbon. So let's put that aside. Um, what else do I got? I've got these little decals that a friend gave me, so I'm going to cut out one of those to put in here. So yeah, if you have any kind of happy mail or just little things that you're like, what am I going to use this on? Have fun choosing them. Um, and on this, uh, there's over here, there's a little price tag that was on this, so I'm going to put that there. Um, I have some letters. So I, when I shop, I like to buy little things that are kind of fun and uh, inspiring. So and I don't use them sometimes. Sometimes I just keep sitting here and, and I don't use them. I have some little gold stars. Is that a gold star? 
I have these little um, watercolors and I know that, you know, I can, I've given myself permission to use them, but I thought it'd be fun to put one in here and it will be part of the end, day of the inspiration. So let's see how we're doing so far. So it's getting, getting filled up with some fun stuff. So let's look for some more treasures. See what else we get in here. I got um, some paper clips. Open it without spilling them all. Okay. Oh. And the point isn't to fill this to the brim, but just to have inspiration. Also, I have a lot of little mini um, rubber stamps that I hardly ever use, and I thought they would be fun to incorporate into this challenge. This one's a little moon. I don't think that's going to fit. All right. I got some little wooden thingies. There's a fun leaf. And the other thing that I will give myself permission is that I don't have to use every single thing that I put in here either. But that's a good start. And okay. I have these bulb. Pins. I got these at Hobby Lobby in the sewing area. I'd never seen um, black ones like that before. So that's kind of cool. They had silver and black. Um, I like this yarn. So, oops, I can't find the end of it. <laughs> Here we go. So I think part of the fun is to see how much stuff I can put in one little box. <laughs> Right. And since I'm doing tags, maybe I will put a little bit of string or yarn in each one. That would be my inspiration for the top of it. I mean, a lot goes a, a little goes a long way. <laughs> see, I know I had a piece of yeah. Recycle this little piece of kind of like paper string or something. So this, I think I I noticed one thing that inspires me when I'm when I'm making things is that I like to have something to look forward to. So this will be a visual reminder of the things that I'm looking forward to. Let's see if I can get this to go down in there. It might be too big. Let's see if it'll close. Oh. And then, there. So now I can look forward to this little box on Saturday. I can get stuff to see in there. <laughs> All right, come on. There. Cool. All right. Now let's see what else can I put in there. I also have some stamps. Um, And then I also have this big box of, whoops, excuse me, um, you know, like brads and beads and things like that. So those might be interesting to throw into this mix. Some little clips. Oops, this one came open. I don't have to take that out. That's too big. But that's okay. Put this in instead. Okay, this is drawing me up the wall. Okay, let's get this to settle down in there. Come on. Put that on top of it. I think that one's closed. All right. 
I'm gonna look through one more box of goodies and then decide if I want to put any little mini paper scraps in any of these. This one has more like beads and things like that. Um, some more different kind of little a mini a mini a mini pick clip. <laughs> Mm, a little, little turtle. Mm, here's some little, uh, these are little charms. Wednesday down, Thursday looks full enough, Friday could do some more, Tuesday's good, um, and, okay, now let me get some little scraps of paper, there's some little ledger paper over here, put that one in there, and then I have some scraps sitting over here, Paper bag, a little piece of paper, notebook paper, and let's see what else do I have. And a little piece of painted doily. Put that in here. Okay, so now we have our little inspiration box ready to go. And we can start our 100-day project. Um, the other thing, wait a second. Ha, huh, I saw something else. I didn't put any words in. It'd be fun to have words in there. Um, those are from, these are from a book. You know, I just cut them out. Some random, random pages. Actually, I think I will... these in here because they will give some continuity to our project. Oh, I should have. All right, let's see which one else. This one here, here. And then this will, you know, encourage me to um, cut out some more of these kind of words because I'm going to be using these. Kinda makes me happy. Okay. So I'll have this and I'll have it sitting right up here and I'll be able to see it and then next um Monday I'll refill it again. So for now, let's clear off some stuff and let's make a mini tag with Monday. Monday, Monday. So these tags come with string, but I'm going to just take the string off and save it for another project. And let's open up Monday. And <laughs> There's the word almost forgotten about, and the little doily, and the piece of paper, and the yarn, and this flower, and a little bit of lace, and a gold star. So it doesn't matter what size your substrate is, you're still going to be using similar composition um, patterns and rules and not necessarily rules but just there are definitely design things that happen when you work on a substrate so um and I have two sides I'm not going to necessarily do both sides and again remember I'm not going to force myself to use everything but 
one thing that I'm thinking about already is that, you know, I've already kind of designated this as the topper. What will be my focal point? Um, I think this little flower makes sense. And then the rest of it can be backgrounds. And then this will be the one of the last things too is the word. So first, I think I want to just start out with some neutral, a neutral kind of little collage here. And put down some papers. And this is just some art glitter glue that I put in a small bottle. And you could use a glue stick or any kind of glue that you like. And then this little piece of round paper we'll put right here. And and then I don't know if I wanna I'm not gonna put all this lace on, I'm just gonna put that there. And and a gold star. So then I think this makes sense for where the flower is going to go. And then I'm just going to tuck this stamp behind there. And do like a little cluster. Okay. So now let me. This is a a lick and stick. <laughs> All right, we'll put a little glue on anyway so it doesn't fall off. And then I'm just going to turn it over and trim a little bit. I'm okay if I lost the shape of the. Tag. There's still that little bit of the tag sticking up there. And I think I would like to put a little bit of, just, just sprinkle a little bit of coffee on here to get that to die. Gives it a little, to look a little darker. Right. And then that'll be fun on the back too, because then it'll, if I want to write something or put a thought on the back, I can. And a little bit, let's put a little bit on the edge of the stamp. And let that dry a second while I think about where to put the words. I'm going to bring this down a little bit more. And again, this says almost forgotten about. That doesn't mean I have to use all of them. I'm gonna trim them off a little bit. I'm gonna cut them apart. Let's see. And I noticed now like the lace is kind of disappearing. Do I wanna put some more lace on? This is also disappearing. Okay, we'll just add that in. So yeah, if you see something and you can change it, you know, fairly quickly, if it's not dry yet, and then gives it a little more dimension. Yeah, I like that better. And then, do I want get this a little wet with some coffee? Almost. Put that in. Okay. 
it needs to dry a little bit. Let me put it on my little, my little thing here. I don't want to have it blow, blow away, but I do want to dry it a little bit, so hang on to your hats. <laughs> Now you don't want to dry anything like that too long because you'll start melting plastic and <laughs> things like that. That would not be good. All right, so pretty satisfied with that. And I don't think I want to try to put a bout on there. Um, let's see, what do I need to put the, put the hole back in there? Let's turn it over and I'm going to just use the saw to get that going on there. And then I'm going to put my, I'm actually not going to use this yarn because I have another piece of something over here. And I'm going to push that through. Because I think it goes with this better. It's more delicate and I don't want that green to overpower my little yellow flower. So as I did this, I'm noticing intuitively I put purple and yellow together, which are contrasting colors. And I do like to use contrasting things in my art. So that is our first little artwork for 100 days. So I'll be back next week with more. Have fun with your 100 day challenge. Bye.